I am Marissa. I'm honored to be here with you for these next 30 minutes. Let's get um, onto the back of our mats and we're going to start just with a few little inchworms of letting our body ray doll down. Thinking of our hands getting as close to our toes as we can. Tuck your chin in towards your throat. Feel that big cervical spine stretch, especially for the morning crew. We can swing it around a little bit, just side to side. Transferring your weight to your toes and back to your heels, the outside of your foot, the inside of your foot, just feeling where you are at. And then let's try, bend your knees as much as you need to get those hands on the ground and we'll walk forward four steps, two, three, four. We're gonna hold down in this plank where we're pushing our heels behind us. We feel that our shoulders are just over top of our elbows and slightly in front of our wrists. And then we can rock a little bit on our toes. That helps with the mobility in our wrists. Okay, warming up those wrists and of course our core strength in here, the back of our legs also getting a little bit of a stretch. And we can bend the knees as much as we need to walk those hands back. Four more steps, roll it all the way back, lift those arms up and drop it down for three, two, and one arm circle all the way back up and let's take it down. Four steps with our hands to get back to that plank position. Knees can drop down to the ground and we're going in for three tricep push-ups, two tricep push-ups, one more tricep push-up, toes curl under, flat plank, walk those hands back in to join the feet, roll it up, one vertebrae at a time, arms again, circle around the head, drop for three squats, two squats, one squat, arms up, back down, let's take it down, we've got this one, two, three, four steps, and knees are going to start to run up. Back is nice and flat, just encouraging those tummy muscles to start warming up, encouraging that heart to start pumping the blood around, and let's pick up that pace and start to rotate the knees towards opposite wrists, and then up a little higher towards opposite elbows, and then we'll stop when they're in the back, stretch those hips up to the sky, walking the heels, so we get up high onto the toes and force the opposite heel down towards the ground. And then we'll walk our feet up in to join those hands. And again, we're gonna roll it up one vertebrae at a time. We're gonna get into our circuit work. So grabbing onto a dumbbell. Starting with three exercises here um, that we're gonna just go through twice aimed at our core. I want us to get the core really strong and engaged so that it's it's feeling the support in our body for the whole workout that we're gonna be getting into. So hold that one weight up over top of your um, head and we're just driving those knees up. Just, okay, just drive those knees up. 30 seconds here on the clock. And so I want you to think that your hips aren't sticking back. You tuck them under and core work, okay? It's like, it's like somebody's coming at you to give you a little punch in the tummy and so you squeeze your belly button in towards your spine. We're wrapping those abs around like a tight belt was getting put on you. Ribs clasp in like a hook in towards each other so they're not protruding. And we're driving, driving, driving. Arms stay strong for three, two, and one. Turn to the side. Right leg can extend out and we're driving. Knee to elbow, tap it back down. <sighs> Knee to elbow, big rounding through your side body obliques to get the knee all the way to connect with that elbow, okay? We're not in here of elbow to hip. Really open it up nice and wide. <sighs> Strong exhales, sticking to this right side the whole time and squeeze it on up. Feel it if you need to bring your hand over to touch your body, that connection through touch can make sure that those muscles are engaged. And grabbing on now with both hands, arms up over top of head, knee drives up, leg extends out, alternating here. So pull the arms down in to join the knee, and then they reach, and you're rounding like that sit up, like get the distance, suck it in, and round, contracting those abs. Boy, as we pull on up. Okay, so Terry, you may have signed up for a cardio back blast class. We get our cardio through our strength. Okay, that's what we go through. There's not much impact 
in these classes. Boom. And last one. I started left, so I finished right. You do the same thing about what side you started from. Weight opposite side now. And here we go. 30 seconds. Standing knee drives. I like that opposite arm to be out nice and strong still. Shoulders are strong. It's as though somebody's pulling your arm away from you and pulling it up over top of your head. Squeeze. My feet are flexed as I'm pulling up. You can choose. Maybe you want to point or flexed. Okay, but you decide. Whichever one it is, stay consistent. Notice everything that you're doing. That's the goal, connecting in with our bodies. And here we go, side, oi, oblique. Not gonna lie, I probably should have grabbed a lighter weight to begin with, but I was eager. So we're sticking with it. If ever you realize, hey, I grabbed too heavy of a weight, don't be shy, swap it out, okay? We're here to enjoy ourselves, to challenge ourselves, not to injure ourselves. Pull. Same goes if you find that it's a little light and you think you've got a little more in you. We've got 10 seconds. Do what you need to do for those last 10 seconds to feel the work. Three, two, uh, and one. Overhead. Note what knee you're start, what leg you're starting with. And let's do it. Last set. Just going through this ab warm-up twice. Use your breath. Strong exhales as we're forcing, as we do the work, and up. 20 seconds on the clock. Up, reach, and I'm going to be able to finish off one more set each side here. You take it away, keep with it, and there's our clock. Well done. 30 second rest before we get into our next series. Next series is six exercises that we go through three times. Water. Mm. I have tried, I've incorporated every muscle group. So often all of them we're doing legs with something for our upper body. First one, bicycle squat, drop it down. Take that weight around our heads without moving the core. So we drop it down, let's go. Left elbow raises to go around the head and then the right. Drop it down, right side goes first, then the left. Drop left. So try, like I had said, not to move those tummy muscles around. Okay, keep standing up nice and tall as you rotate. This is getting our shoulder mobility and into those tummy muscles still. And of course our legs in the squat. Thinking about our hips getting down in line with those knees, weight into our heels as we squeeze everything back up. Well done, 15 second break. Next one, forward lunges with a front chest press. So. If the lunge itself hurts, you can just take a step, step, press, step, press, but knees are healthy. We've got this and press away back, drop it, extend, squeeze. So pressing from the chest, squeezing the back as we bring that weight back into our chests, keeping that pressure of the hands pushing in against that dumbbell, also to engage our chest muscles, we'll feel a little bit in the tricep as well, step and squeeze, floating those legs back together, and one more time, step and pull, there's our break, next one, two, two dumbbells, open up wide, we're going sliding lateral lunge, with a drop pickup row. So I'm gonna to slide to my left, grab onto the dumbbell with my right hand. I'm pulling it back. So keeping the body still parallel with the ground, I pull and then left side is gonna pull. And then we drop. We reach, we pull, we reach, we pull, we drop, we drop. 
clock is on, let's do it. I promised that the mind gets worked out with the body. It's no joke. Burns more calories getting the mind and body at the same time. So the weight stays nice and close into the back as we pull. And I need you to be thinking back muscles, back muscles as we pull that dumbbell up. And there they drop. There's our break. Curtsy with a lateral raise. I'm gonna swap over from my sixes to my three kgs. So we're into palms facing forward. Curtsy lunge, palms face forward. We come into standing, palms are down. Under and up. Elbows are staying slightly bent in that lateral raise. They're coming up like wings, just in line with our shoulders. Drop, you can see that alignment of the knee in behind the ankle. Just enough space for me to tap the dumbbells together, palms forward and up. We worked those core muscles for a reason at the beginning, okay? To stay strong and protect our form in all of these compound lower body and upper body movements, okay? So it's always staying tight. Reverse uh, break, reverse lunge, tricep kickback, hammer curl. So here we go, hammer it up, step back, drive it back, and up, and up. Step lunge, whoops, drive the arms back, up back, back. Find the stance that we need in that reverse lunge. Bigger step, smaller step, whatever's feeling the best for your body. Drive, drive. So front of the arm works here, back of the arm works here. Okay, and this is how we're getting the cardio up. And there we go. Last one, I'm gonna keep loaded with these. Uh, I forgot to mention, I'm sorry, grab something around you. Um, couch, coffee table, whatever it is for some step ups. If we don't have step ups, you can do just some high knees or here, high knees. But if we've got that support system, we're just alternating right up and down. Alternate. As soon as that toe taps down in the back, push, push, push off of that front leg that's on your bench. It's the one doing the work. Quad glute, a little lean forward. Belly button pulled in towards the spine. Here we go. Last three, two, ah, one. That's our power. Here we go, again and again. That's our first set. We're done, getting into 30 seconds of those bicycle curls around the world. I'm gonna add on, okay? We're gonna do a pulse. So here we go, clock is on, pulse down, around the world. One, two, right, then left. One, two, left, then right elbow towards the sky. Enjoy that bit of fire that's happening in the legs. That's what we're here for as we drop. Push from the heels, squeeze those glutes, hips under and forward. Last one, there we go. Excellent, alternating front lunge with that chest press. It goes quick, seven seconds. Shoulders back, pulled down away from the ears, hips under the body, and here we go. Step and press, squeeze back. I feel more comfortable 
still keeping a micro bend in my elbows, not locking them out when I extend that weight away from the chest. Step and squeeze back. Well done, team. Being proud of yourselves for setting these goals of showing up, putting in the vulnerable work that it takes. Not only vulnerable, I mean, it's hard work being accountable, break. Nobody's there to see what you're doing, right? It's just you. You're doing it for you and doing it for us. Cause I feel ya, I feel us together. It feeds me. I hope this is some of your soul food as well for the week. Let's do it side pull. So it's a nice stance with the legs that the knee is getting right over in front in line with those toes. Squeeze. See, it's a little exaggeration even as you pull that weight up, elbow up towards the sky in the back. Pull. The back is one of my favorite things to train and to encourage my people to train because that strong back just helps you stay up strong in your posture in life and how you carry yourself is powerful, very powerful. It's how you feel in you, strong and together, how others see you, okay? Like that, your light comes out of you when you're open and not hunched on over. Here we go, curtsy and raise. And we are here as people to be that light. I believe in it. That's why I'm here, to remind you of it, okay? That's why you're here. It's more than just a workout class, okay? Down, lift from those shoulders, whoo! You flying, they burning, power off that leg, ah! Break, reverse lunge, hammer, and kick back. Aye. And I hope you've got some sweat going, whether you're in Japan, Greece, the UK, New Zealand. We sweating it together. So curl, step, and drive. My body is getting on a slight lean forward, almost like in line with that back leg, okay? Keep your chin slightly tucked. You're not looking too far ahead to get a kink up in that back of your neck. Okay. And drive. Drive. Flex the front. Flex the back. And one more time each leg. And ah, uh, there she goes. All right, those step ups. Holding on to the weight still. Uh, these are long sets, 45 seconds. It's a lot of work. Mm. And here she goes. Little step, oi. Squeeze off that leg. All your weight is on that leg that's on your step. Boom. You don't want your hip really going too much lower than your knee in this. As far as I'm concerned anyways, I like that 90 degree bit of work. Up, step, squeeze. And last 10 seconds on this clock. Core muscles tight. And there she goes, last step. Ah. Holy, third and final. Here we go. Should have grabbed a sweat towel. And wipe it down with whatever you got. And triple pulse around the world. One, two, three. 
I have to say it to myself still of, now my right elbow goes first, and then left, then right. 20 years of doing this, and I still get my rights and my lefts confused. I still always stick with a timer because <laughs> I'm always losing count. Hey, but that's okay. We keep moving. Ah, last one. One, two, three. Squeeze it, core tight around the world. Alternating forward lunge, front press. We're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. Enjoy this break. Take those breaths. Tell yourself you're amazing. Well done, self. I love you for getting up and doing this as hard as it may be sometimes to get out of bed, okay? Or just get away from whatever it is you think you need to be doing, what else you can be doing, and actually giving this time to you, vital, vital, hey? Ah, step and squeeze. Having some quality time with yourself pays off for the rest of your day, this one half hour that you're giving break, pulling, Woo. not gonna lie as well, my, my Jane, Jane and Kim know that this is like, here we go, lateral pulls, this is my fun time, got three young kids, three young boys, so this is my training to keep up with them. Okay, we're all training for something, right? Um, I understand often it's a bit of aesthetic. We want a tighter this, we wanna look a certain way, but it's interesting that even before any change happens in our physical body that we see, if we can just train our eyes to see it and our mind to, to say it, that change has happened already. And we start to look different to ourselves and to others already, right? It's all up here, guys. Curtsy, lateral raise. Uh, I will give these fives a try still. Sixes, do what you can, progressive overload. Trying for it to be a little more work at the end. I believe in that for muscular development. Boom. And realistically, strong is the new skinny, right? We all know that, right? It's not about those aerobic classes anymore. It's about strength training. Woo! 10 seconds. Drop it. Raise it. Woo! And... Last one, up, oi, yikes, reverse lunge, hammer curl. Two more exercises, team, two more. Um, yay, muscular strength is what pays off for us in the future. Okay, it pays off come menopause time, perimenopause time, even if some are far away from that at this point, it's still gaining that muscle strength now helps so much in hormonal balances, right? Fighting any kind of, I mean, depressions, stresses, anxieties, whether they just be hereditary, whether they be seasonal, muscular strength, finding hormonal balance heals that, right? That's what we're doing it for, to be our strongest body, strongest mind. Here we go, last step ups. Whoa. Let's move this over a bit. Three, two, and last 45 seconds. Let's do it, find your pace. 
Again, I like that little lean forward because I find I dig more into my glute when I'm leaning forward a little bit, pushing from the heel and floating it on up, bringing my foot to touch up at the last second. Ah, 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. No stopping now. Let's do it. Hoy. I am amazing. I am proud of myself. I am setting these goals and getting there one step up at a time. Ah, uh, there we go. Well done, guys. Four minutes to cool it down. Okay, let's get a big inhale, arms up over top of the head. We'll interlace our fingers and just give a little bend side to side through that side body. Uh, slow and steady from the outside of your heel all the way up the side as you push that hip out, out of the skin away from you, stretching through your ribs, under your armpit, your shoulder. Hold this next side for that same 10 seconds. Uh, and open the arms, open the legs, toes pointed to the outside. Little goddess squat as we drop our shoulders down and exaggerate it. Exaggerate, find that stretch down our backs, through the back, whatever movement you need. And opposite side. And breathing into your sweet spots where you need. And find your way down to the ground. And we're gonna have legs out in front of us. Open wide and then bring them a little closer so your knees come in just around the instep of your foot. Okay, and then the feet don't move as those knees full flop side to side. And feel the stretch, not just the movement, hip to knee. Stretch out that quad. Other side, stretch it out. And then I'm gonna drop over to the left, extend that right leg back behind into that pigeon pose. Breathing into it, if that feels good, up, stay up. If you can drop to your forearms, great, go for it. If you wanna massage with your thumbs into your third eye a little bit, decalcify, believe in the power of your intuition. Maybe seeing a bit of violet. Uh, take a big deep breath into that left hip that's getting stretched out. So much emotion held in our hips. Pain runs deep. We'll have to let go and let go and let go and let go and let go so much through our lives, but we do it. Okay, we stick with it. We connect. We learn to understand ourselves of this mission in life. I've swapped sides over onto that right side now. Lowering down, noticing a difference, left side to right. Uh, and two more big deep breaths into this right hip. Uh, back into the middle, feet together. And I just, my, our little message, our little talk today was like a say to Terry who isn't a morning person and she's signed up for this class 9 a.m. in Greece and it's a big step for her. So well done, Terry. Um, well done all of us who have set goals at something. Because I believe in setting goals, but setting goals doesn't mean that you need to make a million dollars by the end of this year and then it's just unrealistic and you don't end up doing it and then you think, oh, well, if I, if I don't even make my goals, what's the point, right? So setting goals can be as simple as wanting to up your water intake by an extra liter, okay? That can, that can be something. Um, I'll share mine. Um, right now I'm trying to do heavy metal detoxes. I'm trying just in the morning before coffee to have a drink that I'm throwing um, spirulina, cayenne pepper, lemon juice, a bit of cinnamon, ginger, um, I think that's it in there right now. So I'm trying to uh, set that goal for myself for this next month to see what it is. So it can be little goals. It can be 
another thing been reading about um, maybe to inspire you, encourage you, lymphatic drainages. Okay, there's so much information, um, great people realistically on Instagram even, um, doctors to, to follow that teach you tapping techniques, tapping techniques to help um, clear out your lymphatic systems. And it's simple enough. It can be you're devoting 10 minutes of your night before going to bed. Instead of scrolling, you give yourself a lymphatic massage. That can be your goal. Um, any goals, you know, every season it's different as to what your goal can be. But setting goals for yourself is very important, I believe. And also to not judge yourself for your goals, to know and respect and honor the time between setting your goal, the time it's going to take to reach there based on where you are realistically in making it to that goal, okay? So take it easy on yourself, believe in yourself, set yourself goals that are realistic that you can achieve and feel good about and inspire yourself to be the best version of yourself that you can be. That's it from me. Thank you so much. I love seeing our team grow. Um, namaste, my friends.